All right, guys, here we go into our second Pixlr demonstration. Distant learning. You guys are home, hanging. Hope you're doing all right. And I hope we can make some cool computer art today. So what we're gonna do is kind of create these glowing lines and accents to a portrait photo of somebody. Um, so who I had gone with, and I'll go through how to copy a picture, paste it into Pixlr. Uh, is this guy, this guitarist here. You can choose a musician, you can choose um, an uh, athlete. Um, the guy I was working from was John Frusciante, comes up quick. He is a guitarist, former member of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So that's who I'm working on. Uh, once you find a photo of someone you wanna pick, all you have to do is if you're on your Chromebook, you hold the Alt key and you click with the trackpad. Alt key and click with the trackpad. Then you will come up with a window, just like what we normally see when you right click. So if you were to hold Alt, click on the photo, same as right clicking, um, you can copy that photo. We can go to Pixlr. Uh, I'm going to go back out to home. Uh, we'll go here to create new. Uh, full HD like last time. We'll call this one glowing portrait. So glowing portrait and then say create and then if I hit uh, control V if you are on your Chromebook control V if you're on a Mac you can hit command V and then I will want to expand this photo to fit my window here so um, you can see if you go outside the edges that's fine it just crops a little bit of whatever goes outside your edges that's okay again scrolling uh, down or up uh, zooms scrolling up and down you can zoom that's kind of a fun way to zoom and um, now we're ready to go so we want to add some glowing lines so I'm going to move this layer underneath layer zero so I want layer zero on top this is the layer where I want to start to add these glowing lines and we're going to use the pen tool to start so pen tool we're going to take the ink pen and we'll turn the size up to tan and then uh, choose a color so this color pink here is fine I'm just gonna do a like a rough outline of the person in my photo so just kind of rough outline around there and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blur it so I'm gonna go to adjustment in this menu here and I'm going to actually no nope, I'm gonna go to filter and I'm gonna go to blur and then the amount, I'm just going to turn it up to 100 and hit apply. So just kind of a light blurred line that's kind of uh, echoing, you know, his aura in a way, if you want to say that. So um, there is also Gaussian blur, which uh, will just kind of do the same sort of thing. Um, no real difference there. So um, anyways, let's keep adding more lines. So we are going to just do a different type of pen line now. We'll go to furry line. Is that Fury? Fury? I don't know. One or the other. Uh, change your color for this line. And for this line, again, we're just going to kind of go right around the edges. Oh, wait. I have to add a... I want to add a new layer for this one. Yep. Each time we're doing a new line, new layer. So, uh, again, kind of coming around this line. Maybe following it a little bit. Maybe not following it exactly. Trying to do some other little stuff. This brush actually does some kind of neat stuff when it overlaps each other. Um, I didn't really like that last bit, so I'm going to control Z to uh, start a new one. Again, just kind of going over some of these lines and making this kind of echo line or a line, if you will. Uh, let's try again now a trail line. All right, so this one's the cool one. Uh, I'm going to scroll down to my layers panel, hit the plus sign for a new layer. Uh, let's pick a new color for this line. Let's say something bright. This green will work. I'm going to kind of make this line now bend as if it's kind of bending around and then going behind him and coming in front and then going in back. So I'm going to do it in sections. So I'm starting here and I'm kind of going behind and then I'm going to curve around and then go back to the other side. Now I think I might want to adjust that line that I did there and the size is up so that's good. And I think actually what I want to also change is the amount. I think I want the amount to be up higher with this one. The higher the amount, the more of that like spread. Yeah, see that? 
the more that like spread wavy kind of line you get there. We want that nice wave. There we go. Cool. So now that line kind of like goes back and I can even go over this one maybe again. Yeah, just add a little extra there. Um, so now I have this kind of line that kind of wraps around him and uh, that one I could blur too if I want. Uh, any one of these you could add blurs to if you want to. You don't have to add blurs to all of them. Um, and maybe I'll do one last one here. So this is going to be the last layer line that I'm going to add. And so if I go to uh, the sketchy or let's say parallel lines for this one, I'm going to try a new color that I haven't used yet, something of an orange yellow here. And then I'm just going to do a couple last lines where these lines kind of like shoot out from the sides, kind of towards the angles. And you see it just kind of makes like a repetitive parallel sort of line. And these ones I definitely want to add a blur to. So we'll go to filter and blur and then just pump the blur on these guys so that they aren't so kind of chunky. Um, and then I'll hit apply and there we go. We've got a pretty cool little drawing that has some glowing lines. Oh yeah, last thing I wanted to do, I forgot to do it to this layer three, the wraparound layer. Uh, you also have layer styles with these layers, just like we do in Photoshop. So if you click on these little three button icons here, uh, you'll get to the blending modes and transparency. So opacity and blend modes are here. And let's just change this one to screen. And what that does is it just makes it like a little transparent sort of three see through. Now you can play with any of these, whichever ones work best for you uh, is cool. And then the other thing you can do too that I didn't say yet is that if you hit these arrows here, um, these little arrows make uh, your layer either visible or invisible. And um, yeah, so you can see, you can see it in the history here. So um, anyways, this is looking pretty good. So I'd say this is a wrap. So one more time, let's go over saving real quick. We'll go file, save, uh, glowing portrait, JPEG, quality on high. We'll say download, hopefully. Um, that goes into your downloads folder. Again, if you're on your Chromebook, you'd find that in your files. Click on your tab here to bring up your apps and go to files and move that into your Google Drive. Then you can submit on our computer art Google Classroom page. All right, guys, hope you have fun. Let me know if you have any questions or issues, but I hope you have a lot of luck getting creative with your own project.